Today we're learning about spotlights and how they can boost your student engagement. Including spotlights in your activities or lessons is a great way to engage your students. It allows them to discover information and have a unique way of interacting with any content, regardless of how you want to set it up. I'm going to start by editing the activity and actually going down to the student template and clicking on it to open it up. So now that we're editing this activity, I'm going to show you how to set up a spotlight first in the context of creating some helpful hints for students. Now you can use this spotlight feature to do basically anything. It can be something that reveals answers. It can be something that just reveals a done or not. So you have a little accountability checker, or you can use it in this way to have students kind of reveal some information or some hints that can just provide them some guidance within an activity or a lesson itself. The first thing I'm going to do is go to the three dots and add my spotlight. Now it's very important that we do this first because this has to be something that floats behind all of the words that we're going to put on next. I can choose any shape that I want to for the spotlight. I'm just going to choose a circle since this is kind of the traditional shape for a spotlight and resize it a little bit and change our color so it's kind of like a flashlight is shining in this spot itself. I'm going to put this up here so that it stands out. It's something that's super visual uh, and it's one that students can just really quickly see that they can uh, you know, notice that in their canvas itself. The next thing I'm going to do is add in a little help statement. So I'm going to pad this with some words that say kind of what to do with this spotlight itself. Once we have this, I'm going to resize it pretty small and then change our style to be the far left. That'll get rid of all of the borders and all of the edges so it's just really clean and easy. So it says move the spotlight to see animal suggestions. We want them to move it like this and then we'll hide our words right up here. What I'm going to do is lock this in place and then also lock the size of our spotlight so there isn't any accidental clicks. This way students can still move it uh, without having to accidentally resize it. The last thing I'll do is put our hidden words at the top. Now these are again animal suggestions so let's go to our T and start to type in some animals. So we have five suggestions. You can make as many or as little as you want. Uh, I wanted to provide some guidance without overwhelming the numbers, uh, things that students are going to have to read through. So now that we have this in place, what I need to do is make it disappear. What I'm going to do to do that is actually change our color until I literally see it melt into the background. Now this might not be a perfect melting, but we want to get it to a point when it's like kind of hard to read. Like you don't really know what's up here, but we can discover it if we look for it. What I'm going to do then is lock this in place so it is unable to be moved so then everything is here for students. So this would be how you would actually set this up. This is complete for students. They can walk in and they can use the supports needed using this spotlight. What they're going to do is actually follow these directions to find the animal suggestions. If they're stuck with that, how can I find an animal? Move the spotlight to see. So I'm going to take this spotlight and move it. And you'll see since it's behind these words, they just pop right on out for me to quickly and easily see these words and have some suggestions on the animals that I can choose from. So this is one way that you can use the spotlight in your lessons or activities. There are literally countless ways to make this function inside of your specific activities. Please, please enjoy using this with your students. They will certainly enjoy discovering information through using spotlights. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And don't forget to go to web.seesaw.me lessons to see what we're working on next.